It is not often one sees Greek police using a ton of tear gas against nationalist protesters and elements of the extreme right who gathered in the thousands against the government's deal with neighboring and freshly named Republic of Northern Macedonia. The accord will soon be ratified in the Greek parliament for the first time, allowing Macedonians to self-determine their nationality, as well as formally accept they have nothing in common with either ancient Greek culture or territorial gains in the eponymous region in northern Greece. I feel proud. I'm Greek. I'm Macedonian. Nobody ever loved a traitor, and this government are traitors. We are alone. Only the Greeks alone can fight for Macedonia. We have always been alone and always be alone. Protesters here fluctuate between a religious and political delirium, calling those gathered to storm the parliament, while speakers on stage scream how the police are the fascists who beat up the patriots. I am proud of Greeks, but disappointed with politicians. They never ever asked us about what we want. Thank God for helping us along the way. We have God and he will help us through this. God is here today to rid us of the traitors in the parliament. The US, the European Union, Turkey and the entire international community has welcomed the new Macedonia, except Russia, who is well aware of both NATO's future strengthening plans in southeastern Europe and the EU's continuous fraught relationship with Vladimir Putin. Macedonia's EU and NATO accession talks are expected to begin as soon as the treaty is approved by Greece's parliament this coming week. The Macedonian name deal ends 27 years of national identity mongering and concerns a lot more than ancient history or a mere name. It aims to restrict Russian influence in the Balkans and expand NATO's presence north of Greece and is fully backed by the EU. Despite reactions by Greek nationalists, the agreement does indeed open a new chapter of fragile imbalances in domestic and regional geopolitics. Kostantin Venizelos, Press TV Athens.